Welcome to Our English. I am Priscilla here in the United States and I have a super special guest today. Please introduce yourself. Thanks. Uh, my first name is George, last name Rampasad. I come from the island of Trinidad. Since 1984, this no Skylark, I've been teaching and playing pan in Denmark, in the Red Cross camp for the refugees, teaching Danish grammar and vocabulary. I choose to introduce myself in a song with lyrics and music. You cannot go wrong. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That was beautiful. Thanks. The best introduction. So, George, tell me, what motivates you to do your work and your music? Well, <clears throat> my motivation really comes from, from using my ability. I realize that I have the ability to do something. So my motivation is to take that ability and use it. So I think I have the ability to use words, to play with words. So I can use this to give people a good experience. So if I can make a song or write a poem or so, it would give people a good experience. This is what partially motivates me. On top of that, one of the things that motivates me is that I try to keep the tradition of storytelling that we have in the Caribbean in Trinidad. To try to keep this tradition going because in this modern society, a lot of it is being lost due to the fact that a lot of the the narratives that are being told are something that is manufactured manufactured for sale. It isn't coming from the heart of the person. So I am also motivated in a way you create a legacy, but you also protect your heritage. So basically, this is what is motivating me to do what I do. Absolutely. And you know, I'm an author. I love to write. I also love to play with words and storytell. And I love hearing your stories. Mm -hmm. So that is beautiful. You're welcome. It's so important to know that you are making a difference in somebody's life and sharing your story and your music with your motivation being to entertain them that is so beautiful thanks yeah welcome well, it, 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 it makes no sense having something and not sharing with the people that's right sharing is caring exactly okay yes so what is your inspiration oh the inspiration mm -hmm. well the inspiration comes from different sources, okay? Uh, because um, the tradition for storytelling, at least in the area I operate within the Trinidad context, the storytelling is in the form of Calypso, mm -hmm. which traditional, traditionally was storytelling in the form of social commentary, political commentary, humorous commentary, and so. Yeah. so you might find that sometimes I would be given the opposite point of view in a dialectic situation to what is being told generally to the public, what is being told, for example, on the media, mm -hmm. what is being told by the system, by the politicians, by the governments and so. And I would take this and I would make something to show the story from the other side, mm -hmm. you see? Yes. And also sometimes it is not only what they say and what they do, but you observe within the society certain 
social and political conditions, the conditions of people, what is happening around you, how people act and so. And um, you can write a, a, a short story or a song on this and share it with people because this is what a lot of people will identify with because you are singing about their daily lives. Right. So Absolutely. These are the things that inspire me to write. But basically, it is a story and narrative on the situation around me, how I, how I experience the world around me. I love that. And you use real life situations with your natural talent. You're naturally entertaining <laughs> from my well, experience. I don't know about the natural talent. <laughs> I think it is more, it is 95% hard work and 5% talent. Got it. Got oh, it. Talent and luck. Well, so many people can relate to your music, especially traveling from Trinidad to a different country. <laughs> Um, suitcase is one of my favorites and you know you want to bring your trini spices you want to bring all your cooking tools and that's just so real um, for us when we're leaving Trinidad to go somewhere else so good one <laughs> but there are also other people who can identify with it is not only Trinidadians true but Very true. Them, a lot of Danish people they, they, they give feedback. They say, well, we do the same thing. Mm. When we go to another country and we come to Denmark, it is just that they have different things in their baggage. True. Very you true. See? So, so it, it is not something special to Trinidad. It is any group of people in any diaspora, when they go back to the home country, yes. then they will go, will go back looking for the roots of what they had. Very you true. See? Very mm -hmm. true. But nowadays we have Amazon and eBay. We can order the curry and, you know, <laughs> order we Jiran masala and thing. <laughs> Fantastic. So in light of Valentine's Day, what is your message to the viewers about love? Well, I don't know if I have a message about love, you know. Mm. Um, I have a view about it. Okay. Because, of course, uh, I mean, everyone, everyone needs love mm -hmm. and everyone needs to love. So in that context, it is good you have something like Valentine's Day. But in a way, Valentine's Day to me is a, is a kind of a, is a strange day because you shouldn't <laughs> have one, one day a year to celebrate love. True. You know, about the, about 364 days. True. You know. But basically, it is good that there is one day, of course, that, that you have where you, you can, you know, make some, something special out of it. The main thing is that it should not go and it should not become a commercialized enterprise in that it is not about buying a gift or buying some perfume or sending a card or whatever. Mm -hmm. It should be the, the underlying elements that constitute what you might call the, the, the condition of love, yes. like good communication, good relationships and trust and honesty. And so these things for me should be brought to the forefront rather than the bottle of expensive perfume. Don't forget the wine. And the wine. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> It is the, the big companies who make money on this day. Uh, but if you, for example, if me, I don't respect my wife or you don't respect your husband and then you buy a gift and then the day you go back to, to not respecting that person, then it is all a sham. Right. It sounds See? like the lyrics to a new song. Well, it could be. <laughs> I tell you, I like to play with words too. <laughs> <laughs> so last question, George, thank you so much for your time. What You're is, oh, what is your favorite Trini word? Well, I've been thinking about this. Uh -huh. and I don't think I personally have a favorite Trini word, but I think that there is a word that 
maybe it is not the favorite Trini word, but I, I think it is one of the most used words by Trinidadians all over. Mm -hmm. And that is the word, well, it is a word, or you might call it a word, it is the word eh. 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 Eh, what you say? Eh? Right, you, spell, you spell it E-H. Uh-huh. <laughs> because um, if, if, for example, someone calls me, I am sitting here and then someone calls my, my name and I would turn around and say, eh. Mm -hmm. In other words, I'm saying yes. So I am using it to answer someone who is calling me. Mm -hmm. But if someone says something I, and I didn't catch what they were saying, and I wanted to say, what did you say? Or could you please repeat? Mm -hmm. And I would say, eh? <laughs> but now I am asking the eh, it is, it is a question. Right. You see? Well, if I am talking and I want, I am telling you something, mm -hmm. but then I want to ask your opinion. Isn't it so? Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. If I say something is nice, I say, nice, eh? Mm-hmm. And then you might say, yes, I think so too. That's but right. That, that question, but it, it, it is not saying, please repeat. It is saying, don't you think so too? Yes. You see? And then you also have the air, which is the command, the order. Mm-hmm. Where, for example, you might have, let us say, an adult speaking to a child or a superior speaking to another, an inferior or whatever you want to call it. So they might say, don't do that, eh? Mm -hmm. That eh, it is the imperative form. Right? <laughs> don't do that. Eh, it is just to, to underline that you have understood what I said. That's right. See? And then you have the eh, where you use it for negation where instead of the english do not mm -hmm. and i think it comes from the 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 the, the, the short form that you say in english you say ain't he ain't mm -hmm. I, we have cut it in triad so we say eh so if i say for example i do not know i can cut it and say i ain't know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or he ain't know yes so it, it, it is to form the negative sentence we use it instead of the the, 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 the the verb do not. Yes. And then you can also use no in the uh, in the as as a as an interjection. So if I want to say no, mm -hmm. then I can double it up. I can say eh eh. Mm -mm. That's yeah. right. I love it. When you double it up, then it becomes the interjection. And that one, you would write it with the exclamation mark. Yes. And then you can also take that same air and then you can make it positive. So if you ask me something and I want to say yes, then I can say, eh -heh. So eh, eh is no and eh -heh is yes. Right. And then um, <laughs> that same uh -huh, uh -huh. where I'm saying yes, I can raise my voice and ask it as a question. So if you say, George, did you hear so and so and so? And then I say, uh -huh, mm -hmm. which is, is that so or really? Yes. So the word uh, I think it is, it, I, know, I don't know if it's a favorite word, but I think it is one of the most used words among Trinidadians. Super. And it has more meanings than, than a lot of people think. That's right. That's absolutely right. I see you put a lot of thought into my question. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So, George, and this was a lot of fun, eh? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. <laughs> so we could do it again. Nah? Yeah, anytime. Very cool. Thank you so much. You are such a joy. I absolutely love, love, love your joyous spirit. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me on your show. Absolutely. Stay safe. Say peace okay, out. Right. Say okay. bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>